If you want to stand out as a brand in 2024, think outside the box. Start thinking about experiential marketing, guerrilla marketing tactics. What are other ways that are not so digital that you can get in front of people, right? I'm a sucker for good content, a good story, and a good um, dynamic on screen. So you're saying not necessarily, like, don't put, you know, keep think, doing digital, but yeah. just do it better. <clears throat> think about the Super Bowl. Like, people watch the Super Bowl just to watch the commercials. <laughs> you can feel me? It's kind of like that same logic. I'm, like, I love movies. I love Marvel. And then when Marvel started introducing, at the end of the movies, like, those little sneak previews to the following movie. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to stay after and you want to watch everything. Yeah. Exactly. So I, I'm, I'm more of a sucker for that. Like, let's produce an ad. Cool. But let's make sure that the content in the ad is really what is hitting. And it make sure it's the best possible representation of the story or the communication or the message you're trying to reach to the, that new audience. Okay, what do you think about... So we're entering an age where people are trying to pay to not see ads because we are so tired of it, right? So you can pay for Spotify Premium. You can pay for YouTube. You can pay for all your streaming services to have no ads. So then you're living in, quote unquote, an ad-free world, but companies still need to get their products in front of people. So what do you think about like alternate ways to get products in front of people, like how you have product placement in movies or TV shows or collaborations with YouTubers? You know... I don't know if you know this, Emma, but um, Subway, the actual Subway company and Korean TVs are so, like, huge, right? Sub Tell me more. Did you? Okay, I don't know. Okay. Felt like, this is actually true. So, I don't remember how I, I learned this through Johnny Harris, that YouTube video. Um, but in South Korea, um, the way that the advertising space works, the companies buy spaces on TV shows. So let's say you're doing a, a romantic drama, right? In the TV show. And then they're going to go to a nice restaurant to eat dinner. They actually go to Subway. <laughs> and they have the meals in Subway. No way. 100% Google it. Like, it's facts. And then by that interaction of, like, that couple, that, that person on TV went to Subway, sales of Subway sandwiches have gone through the roof in South Korea. Okay, you know what that reminds me of? So I just got back from a trip to Japan, and it was my first ever time in Japan. So I'm originally from Kentucky, and I was in Japan over Christmas. And turns out there's a huge Christmas tradition in Japan. So Japanese people are obsessed with American culture. Like, actually, you go to these stores, and they have, like, ooh, vintage American stuff, and it's, like someone's like old high school sweatshirt <laughs> and it's like they probably threw that away but these kids are like yes we have such a find like it's a huge america core trader joe's bags by the way they're obsessed okay? i still don't understand trader joe's we'll like, talk about that later because i, I love trader that. joe's but something that's huge on christmas eve and christmas day and like all over japan kfc kentucky fried chicken they are obsessed with it because kfc ran this massive campaign years ago that was super successful that basically said oh americans Christmas, their Christmas meal. They basically convinced all of Japan that Americans' Christmas meal is KFC, KFC, which it's 100% <laughs> not. But it was wild. So I'm walking around and I'm like, my homeland, my people. And everyone's just like lining up in front of KFC. Yeah. So that to me is brilliant because you're ingraining your product into the well, think about it. consciousness of a people. Exactly. And if you, if you apply this to movies, right? Um, what brand do you picture Iron Man with? Apple, Audi, Audi. Yeah. I was just thinking about how the RA, all the heroes like have in Apple. every single Avengers movie, every single Iron Man movie. I don't want to. Tony Stark has an Audi, an R8 <laughs> or some version of the e-tron or some type of vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. You think about Fifty Cent, which alcohol do you associate him with? Hennessy. I don't remember, but like, <laughs> there's an alcohol there. You know what I'm saying? I think, um, but there's like the Yankee cartel. Um, Tequila, you know what I'm saying? Osuna, his champagne bottle. Mm -hmm. There's there's always a, an association between uh, the creative creators and like, the actual advertisers. Product placement to me, I think that's a phenomenal way to get in front of an audience. 